What is up you guys? Jake Adams here and it is almost time for Reefpalooza New York to start the first day and I'm so excited. Uh, I even forgot to shave but uh, hopefully we won't be seeing that much of my face. But uh, doors open in 30 minutes so let's hurry up go downstairs check out the crowds that have gathered and uh, then go through the entire show see some beautiful corals see some beautiful products so let's go. So the line to get in here at Reefalooza is absolutely insane and uh, I'm gonna have plenty of time to walk through the show, show you all the booths, but I really wanted to walk, uh, talk to a few people in the line and find out what they're most excited to see before they even get a show. So let's go. First in line, who's first in line? First in line. What's going on, man? How you doing? What's your name? Jose. Jose. How long you been here? been here since a quarter to seven. Quarter to seven? That's right. What possessed you to be here this oh, early? Are you kidding me? It's the first time I come here in New York. I went to the one in Orlando. Okay, where are you from? I, I'm from upstate New York. Upstate New York, very yeah. cool, man. Yeah, I loved your videos on the Australia uh, that you showed all the vendors over there. Very cool, I'm gonna walk through the line a little bit more. Thank Good you, luck thank with the show. You. What's going on, guys? How, how, how long have you guys been here? Uh, since about eight. It's about 8 o'clock. Yeah. You've been waiting for three hours to get in here. Yeah. What are you hoping to find inside? Uh, I'm going to look at GHL. GHL? Yeah. All right. That's a good answer. A very good specific answer. <laughs> Most people are like, I want frags. I'm looking for some salt mix. I'm like, GHL. I'm here for one company. That's awesome. Very cool. We'll walk through a little bit more. What's up, my man? What's your name? Mr. Jacob. Where are you from? I'm from Chester, New York. Chester, New York. How long you been here? Here? Oh, yeah. How long you been in line? Uh, 9.30. 9.30. What are you looking forward to see here at the show? Everything. 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 That's a great answer, I don't man. want to miss nothing. Very good. Very good answer. Too. Oh, man, we got a lot of Red Sea shirts up in the house. Yes. Must be giving them out at the door. Right on. What's up, guys? How are you doing, young lady? Doing fine, thanks. How, How long have you? you been in line? Since 9. Since 9 o'clock. Two hours. Waiting two hours to get into the show. And what are you looking forward to see here at Reef Palooza? <laughs> I don't know, a lot of coral. A lot of coral. And my happy husband. Uh, <laughs> there you go, that's a great answer. So you're the man. All right, well enjoy the show, Thank okay? You. Take your time. Don't spend all your money at the first corals you see. That's hard. Okay. <laughs> right on. You guys been in line for a long time? Two hours. Yeah. Two hours. <laughs> Have you been to Reef Palooza before? No. Oh boy, you guys are in for a treat. Excellent. Right. Nice to Very cool. Man, there's an absolute madhouse of people here. I'm gonna go outside, see how many people are out there. What's up, guys? Hey. What's up? Who's ready for Reefalooza? Woo! How long has this part of the line been waiting? What time did you guys get here? An hour ago. <laughs> an hour ago. Why have you been waiting an hour to get into the show? Yeah, you see it first. Corals. <laughs> What's that? Not unlimited corals. That is, that's right, that's right. So you're here for first crack at corals. Yes, sir. Very cool. I'm gonna walk through the line a little bit more, see how far this stretches. <laughs> going to, so I, how's it going? Fantastic, how are you uh, doing? Have you been to Reefalooza before? No, I haven't. I've, oh, wow. This is gonna be my first time. Where are you from? Uh, Winston-Salem, North Carolina. North Carolina, all right. I went to USC. Go uh, Cox. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> What are you looking forward to see today? Uh, a little of everything. I, I want to see the hardware, I want to see the, the uh, reef equipment, uh, and a bunch of corals, you know. Very cool. Well, I am going to definitely be doing some uh, overviews of the hardware. Yeah. Might get the video out today in case you miss anything. <laughs> you can come back around tomorrow. Okay, fantastic. Good luck, guys. All right. I love your All videos. Right. Thank you. <laughs> How's it going? Good, how are you? Is this a reefing family I'm looking at? I want to start doing All it. right, very cool. Have you been to Reef Palooza before? No, it's my first time. Oh my God. We'll take it slow, breathe, <laughs> and drink plenty of water, okay? All right, if you cool. feel any heart palpitations, just sit down. There's, uh, there's still tomorrow. All right, cool. Thank, Thank you. you. And it keeps going. Every year, every year this line is just crazier than before. What's up? I was looking for a young him. What's your name there, man? My name is David. David, how you doing? I'm good, how are you doing? I'm trying to walk around this line without getting killed. Oh, let me see this sweet shirt here. Forgot where I got this tee. Awesome, very cool. Thanks for wearing that.
All right, this line is macking crazy. I don't even know how far it goes back into the garage. I think it's time to go inside and uh, start this show. this trick you have for uh, putting rock anemones where you want them. So what you want to do is you want to like, you want to like put them on a rock, like where you want to put them, and then you want to put like a cup or a piece of PVC pipe over top of them, hold it there for like 10 to 15 minutes, or like 5 to 15 minutes, and then after you think they've attached like to where you want, take it off and they should stay there if there's not a lot of flow. If there's a lot of flow there, they will let go and like go somewhere else in the tank. You can probably do it a couple times, but after a while they might start to get shaded and not grab on anymore. Very cool. Thanks for the tip. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> My name is Rachel Fogel. I am with Reef Weeds and I paint UV inspired art. Very cool. So yeah, I mean I love art, especially in the aquarium world. Marine aquarium scenes lend themselves like so well to uh, to artistic interpretations. Wow, look at this masterpiece. That's insane. Crazy. Very cool. So how can people how can people find your art? You can find me on Instagram under the username Reefweeds. Alright, thanks a lot. <laughs> Thank you. Real fish. Get down. Get down. If Jake if Jake looks at your arm, man, it's gonna be famous. <laughs> That's it. Great job, man. What's up guys, my name's Damien Barry. I'm the founder of Refined Arts. And what we do is we actually uh, digitize real coral and 3D print it and then replicate it over and over and generate proceeds to actually plant coral in the wild. This is half a carat black diamond, micro pavade with one millimeter diamonds. And we also have copper, and this is elkhorn coral. This is one of the most endangered coral species in the world. And the proceeds from the sale of this jewelry actually go to planting coral in Belize and Haiti. So shout out to Fragments of Hope and the Amiga Island Ecological Foundation for doing such amazing work. Thank you. Uh, it's kind of a fun all-in-one concept. You got speakers, you got lights, but We're most importantly, you have live backgrounds. Now this might look a little gimmicky if you're really trying to just set up a, a, a purist aquarium. But uh, this exceptionally shines for promotional purposes, right, Eddie? Yes, great Very for cool. advertising if you're into the business. Great for kids to get first into the hobby of fish keeping. So, so you can watch cartoons kind of, and fish at the same time. Right, kind of builds that technology between fish keeping and technology. So little kids would be really enjoying this. Also, we have a USB con for here. Oh, oh my God. To, uh, you even have a USB charger. Yes, <laughs> to charge a cell phone. Comes with Bluetooth speakers. Comes with 40 different videos with music already. 
So you can get started right away. Very cool. You can cool. do fresh water, salt water. It uses a little wet dry system. Um, essentially, the whole the tank stays the same to do salt water. Right. Okay. You can keep like one small clownfish so, or something. So we have a built-in filter in the back. You got yep. some RGB controllable LED lights. Right. Controls independently. Very cool little system. You know what, man? I want to see this. I want to see this on the counters of fish stores where they're promoting their sales, where they're you know promoting, highlighting their, their special items, where they're engaging their customers uh, right at uh, the checkout counter. I feel like this should be at every checkout counter in uh, fish stores in the country. Thanks. Okay. It's great. It's a lot of fun. It's called an Iquarium I3G. All right. Thanks a lot, Eddie. Tell me about your tank. I have a 10 gallon that I'm doing on YouTube right now. It's uh, an Innovative Marine Nouveau 10. Say that again? An Innovative Marine Nouveau 10. Okay, gallon. what's the name of your channel? Aquarium Activist. Aquarium Activist. Yep. For aquariums though, right? Yes. All right. Very cool. This So this is your first reef palooza? Yes. It is. How do you like it so far? It's been awesome. I picked up so many stuff I don't even know. Did you get some corals? Yep. Did yes. you win any raffle prizes? Nope. Oh. Very cool. We'll That's definitely give your channel a, a shout out. Yep. Definitely, you know, keep polishing up your reef tank and taking care of those corals. And uh, we're going to do everything we can to foster the next generation. Thank you. Uh, thank you. So this IDIP here is what we're super proud of and excited about. This is something that is able to go ahead and harness the power of your smart device. It's able to utilize iOS or Android. And it's something that can do over 20 parameters. So with one device, you're able to test anything from copper to alkalinity to pH, ammonia, nitrate, and so forth and so on in a way that's cost efficient, super easy to use, um, and allows you to get so your is results. It, is this the brain of the system? This is the brain of the system, and coupled with a smart device, you're able to pick which test you want to run, save those results, and use them or date them or chart them, email them, store them. So what are, so the, what are the, the most important uh, parameters for salt water that this is good at testing? So as you can see right there in front of us, we've got calcium, total hardness, total alkalinity, nitrate, ammonia, and phosphate as a kit that we push at the show like this because those are the parameters that most people request and most people want to see or get tested. So this works with your smartphone. Absolutely. It does a lot of logging and for things sure. like that. Absolutely. How much is the machine and how much are some of the reagents? So the machine retails for $350. At the show we're selling it for $250. And the reagents vary. You can get something like total alkalinity for $15.99. How many can, tests is that? That's 100 tests. Oh wow. 100 it's like tests. 15 cents a test. That's it. Very cool. So yeah, this is a very exciting new uh, development and technology here with the iDip uh, photometer. Is that Absolutely. a photometer? Exact iDip photometer. Very cool. Yes. So it's definitely something to watch. Thanks for the, for, Absolutely. Thanks for the intro, Fernando. Thanks for having us. Oh, no worries. Appreciate it. Very cool. And I, I feel like every show I come out, you've got uh, kind of a new shape or a new application. Uh, I think these are like uh, little RAS and, and Gobi hideouts. Um, obviously the frag racks are kind of self-explanatory. Um, here's some uh, for like a, a single showy frag. Um, what's new for this show? I see some uh, some Vortec uh, kind of covers. These yeah, are really we cool. Those, we had those last at the last show in Florida, but they're still pretty new. We haven't really put many pictures up because they usually sell really fast at the shows. And you have them for MP40s and MP10s, right? Yes, the 10s are already gone. Um, and and uh, these are cool right here with the, the fingers. Yeah, we made these. These are nice and soft. We're, the hope is to use these motomorph seahorses and small nano tanks. Those all magnets. I've been using one uh, to put galaxias on because that way as the sweepers start yep. getting longer, I can move it uh, accordingly with the flow to keep the sweepers out of the way. So, man, I'm, I like I said, I love magnetic stuff. It's, I'm just really thrilled to see you grow and come into more and more shows. So thanks, thanks for keeping it creative and, uh, and uh, making an appearance. Yep. Thanks, Jake. Thank Glad you. to be here.
by the time you're watching this, Reef Palooza Orlando 2017 is gonna be done. We're gonna have a nice little break for the summertime. But at the end of the summer, MACNA, the biggest marine aquarium show in the world, is gonna be happening in New Orleans. And I got my friend Rob Mauji, Rob Mouge, gonna tell us why we are all going to MACNA. Take it away, Rob. Thanks. Well, this year, as Jake said, we're in New Orleans. And so that means we're gonna be there from August 25th to 27th. It's our 29th year. And we have three days of fun, three days of big exhibit floor, over 24 speakers are going to be present. And it gives you an opportunity to come by and have a little bit of fun with some of your fellow fish geeks and coral nerds and enjoy yourself thoroughly in New Orleans. Yeah. Where else to have a party? The, the Reef Blueses are very regional and it's really cool to rub elbows uh, with people from different parts of the country. But MACNA is the most international show, so we'll have people right. from all over the country, a lot of different countries, and this is one of the best ways to really learn more about the hobby and what's happening in different places. So uh, yep. thanks a lot, Rob, and uh, we'll see you at MACNA. Thank you, and I'll see everybody there. All right.